All right, so welcome back to some more MX versus ATV All Out. Today we are taking a look at a few things. The first thing we're going to start with is this Rockstar Energy Drink Husqvarna here. This is the 350. It's mods. You guys were telling me that the mods were out, and they sure are. These are really awesome. They're by a person called Pay2021. I'll have a link down to his Facebook page if you're on PC and want to go look at it or download it or just show him some support and love because he does a... Uh, a heck of a good job with this. He's also modded like the MXGP games, Supercross the game, now all out. He probably mods like Reflex and Sim. I really don't know, but he does a really good job. He did a really good job with uh, MXGP3. I picked up some of the mods by him for for that game. Actually, I think I grabbed this exact... Well, it's like it's all one mod and then he just like adds to it, but uh, I know this was was in there and it looks really, really good. So what I want to do is he also has the Monster Energy Kawasaki, and he I think he has something for the Honda. I haven't checked, but like in the preview picture when you download it, there was something for the Honda. I didn't read everything either, so he's got that, and I think... Uh, let's get out of this. I think he has some gear mods too. I'm not sure what he all has. I know he has the Monster Helmet because I have that on the gear set for the, the Kawasaki, which we'll do next. But I don't know what else. And it replaces stuff in the game. So if you're like... It was replacing something with Fast House. So if you're like a huge fan of that specific helmet and put this mod in, it's not going to be there. It's It replaces that specific thing. I forget which one it replaced here. Uh, there's like always, There was like one graphics kit that I never really liked on any of the bikes. I don't know if it was that one that it replaced. I don't think it was. I think he chose something else. Or I don't know how that all works because I don't mod stuff, but... Yeah, it replaces certain things, so if it replaces something you're a big fan of, then you're just kind of kind of out of luck. Let's hop over here. This is, like, for just looking at it, this is by far the f my favorite cam to play in. Just for looking at the, the graphics kits and whatever, the new bikes and stuff like that. It's just, it's by far the hardest camera angle for me to, to play in. See, I always just go, like, totally off track. Let's hop back on. Good thing we're in free ride. Check that out. Oh, that was perfect. And then we'll do like one lap in first person so you first person guys can see the the front fender. And first person is a heck of a lot better than it, than it was. I mean, it was good. I would say it was a lot better than it was in Supercross, but it just, this is so much better. And we'll hop over here in a second. The only thing that I think it's missing is to be able to like customize the field of view, to be able to pull it out like the camera a little bit farther or to lift it up a little higher point it more down or whatever you want that's one thing that I wish we could do yet but who knows you know they're they're always adjusting on stuff and maybe we'll get that in the future triple we're just gonna go triple triple because we're not gonna get that double triple I mean for me I like I mean I love the mods he, he does such a good job and it's really easy to install this mod the one for MXGP3 was like mediumly complicated the first time you do it and then after you've done it it was it wasn't that bad but the first time was a little complicated and a little confusing this one's really easy it kind of just reminds me of like the way you do reflex mods so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over and go grab the well let's get out of this camera angle there we go that's where we're gonna start in we're gonna hop over and grab the monster energy Kawasaki graphics show you that and the monster helmet and then we'll probably check out the Honda and then I'll show you some of the graphics kits that uh, I forgot to show you during the, the new DLC bikes. Okay, so we jumped over and grabbed the Kawasaki. And here are the Monster Energy Kawasaki graphics. They are sick. I mean, the Rockstar graphics were awesome. They're just as good, but these Monster graphics are unbelievably awesome. I know there's a lot of people on console that would love to have them and have voiced opinions that they, they wanted them in the game. They want to see them in the game. Like, almost every Moto game that comes out... Where's the Red Bull helmet and where's the monster graphics kits? You know what I mean? Like, I see that all the time. And I'm not I'm not making fun of that, okay? I'm not making fun of that. I'm not disagreeing with it. But that's like some of the biggest requests right away when they see they're not in the game. And so Pay 2021 went and modded and put in... The Red Bull helmet might be in the game. It might be. We might have to check. But you can see up top we got the monster helmet and then these graphics, which are awesome just he did such a good job with them just unbelievable really good job let's get into this what we're gonna do is we're gonna run one lap in the follow cam and then one in slot and one in first person like we were doing before 
So that's how we're gonna do this, just like we did with the the husky. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious about, because I was switching, is what camera angle do you exactly play in? Because sometimes people hate the camera angle I'm playing in, because it's the farther back one. Like you have the close chase cam. Like, let's see if we can get it. So you have this one, and I actually think I pulled this one back a little bit. And then you have the, well, hold on, we'll get over this. Then you have, I mean, it, it's really close, but I prefer the little bit farther viewing back of the bike. I mean, sometimes since All Out has that option, I'll pull this camera back even a little bit farther. We actually need to switch here. Slot cam. So, like I said, the slot cam just shows the bike the best, I think. And I know some people ride in it, but uh, I'm curious. Do you ride around in the first person? Do you ride around in the slot? Do you ride around in the chase cam? If you ride around in the chase cam, is it the the close one or the the far one? Or do you switch back and forth? Do you do a little bit of third person chase cam and some first person I'm just I don't know I'm just curious like I in this game lately I've been doing a lot of the chase cam like with it pulled out farther the not the or the follow cam not the chase cam and then some first person I've actually kind of been enjoying we'll get into it now enjoying some of the first person because it's uh it's it's quite a bit better than it was when it released it still needs what i would really like to see and i think i already said it was i just want to see it where i can choose what the field of view is to some degree i mean kind of it doesn't have to be ooh, I thought we were casing that was perfect it doesn't have to be like super precise but i would like to be able to to pull the camera back or move it up or down or whatever a little bit i think I think a lot of people would. I mean, that's getting nitpicky because this is a pretty darn good first person. I think it's pretty smooth. At least on PC, it's pretty smooth. And it works and it works pretty good. So first person, really good. But I'm curious to know, what kind of camera angle are you guys playing in when you play these games? Specifically, well, no, not specifically this one. Just anyone. Let's get out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over and see what the Honda is. And then we'll probably show you that one too. Okay, so I jumped over and grabbed the Honda CRF 450, and he has the Honda HRC graphics kit for for the bike, which are awesome. Let's kind of zoom in here, get a little closer look. They look awesome. And we also zoom back out. We also have the Red Bull helmet. I think it's one of the Fox ones. I'm not 100% sure. He has in his mod on his Facebook page, he tells you like what exactly he had to replace to to make that work. So... Unfortunately, if your favorite helmet was the one he had to replace, you'll have to choose whether you want to have that one or whether you want to run the the Red Bull helmet. So, only thing, man, is if we could see a GoPro on top of there, that would be that would be sick. I would love to see that, but nonetheless, awesome job. So, let's hop into this and run a few laps. I'm really curious like what his plan is for future mods for the game. Like whether I mean bike graphics or gear or whatever I'm also curious to see if that means in the future custom tracks will be a thing will custom tracks be a thing eventually in the future and all out or not I'm just I'm really curious to see because ultimately what keeps games going for longevity I mean yeah a game has to be really fun and whether people are mixed emotions about this one I enjoy it I really do enjoy it and I know there's a lot of other people that do too and I know there's people that don't and that's fine if you don't like it that's fine that's your choice but I do and so I'm curious oh let's switch over I'm curious to see you know for longevity yeah games got to be fun and people have to like it but also longevity like with reflex as much as people liked it if you Oh my gosh, if you didn't have the custom content on PC, I don't think people would be playing that game as much. I'm sure you get the guy like Reflex became backwards compatible on Xbox One or something like that. I'm sure there's people that would still be playing it, but not to the scale that people are playing it on PC or have been in the past. So modding is what keeps the game alive. The custom tracks were mostly, I think, what kept Reflex so alive. I mean, the skins and the, the skins for the bike and the rider, of course, but... I think it's the custom tracks and, and all that is what really kept Reflex going. So, curious to see if that'll be a thing, if he does that. I don't know. Whoops. I don't know if he does... I mean, if he does Reflex mods or if he does 
sim mods, I'm curious if he does track or if he's just like the cosmetic stuff, like the bike and rider, if that's more his thing. I, I, I don't really know. I mean, I know him a little bit from his MXGP3 and Supercross mods and now from All Out, but I mean, I don't know if I don't follow if he does reflex or if he does sim or anything. So just kind of curious, just a thought, food for thought. Is will custom tracks find their way into All Out eventually? Is that a is that a thing? So there you go. You kind of see what he's got going on for right now. He'll always, I mean, he seems very active. He's always adding and changing things and blah, 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 blah. So if you're on PC and you really like modding, I encourage you to go check out his Facebook page linked down in the description. Talk to him. Let him know your feedback, what you're thinking, what you'd like to see. Maybe he'll take it into consideration and for future stuff and we'll go from there. But before we quit, let's jump on over and look at the other graphics kits for the Suzuki Yamaha and the Honda that actually came with the bike DLC. Okay, so since we were still on the Honda, why not just stay on the Honda? So you're actually gonna see here what how that kind of works. So we have this one. Actually, I have two of these. Got the red, white, and blue. And then this is the one that he had to switch to make the, the HRC graphics kit work in the game. Here's the stock. Here's this one, two end styles. That one's kind of cool. The throttle jockey flag, and then that's it. So let's hop over and, ooh, how are we gonna do this? Quick switch to the Yamaha. I think I have these bikes fully upgraded finally. Take a look at what they got here. Let's go all the way to the top. So I mean, these are pretty similar. They're like, it's like basically the same for all the bikes, just a little bit different, kind of the same. Is this the 50? Oh, this is the 5150 energy drink. Sweet. I don't think I looked at Yamaha. I think this is the first time that I've actually looked at the Yamaha graphics. I knew they had them in the game because I forgot, but sweet. This one, this one, this one. There's actually quite a few. It feels like there's more here than there were on the Honda. Maybe I'm wrong. It just feels like there's a lot of options here. What is this? Moto option? In style, couple in styles. Oh, the Cycle Trader. Actually, I think they, I mean, they had 5150 and Cycle Trader in the game already for the Nordic Rainbow Bike, but it looks like they made it more specific for uh, for these ones. So yeah, it looks like Yamaha actually got more. Like they had some official ones actually, it looks like kind of, and then the stock one. So that's the Yamaha. And let's go check the Suzuki. Now I think the Suzuki actually had more too. Where are you? There you are. Let's take a peek here what they got. Okay, so uh, the 180 is kind of the same. Kind of the same. This one's kind of sick. Yeah, it looks like Yamaha might have gotten the most actually because of the Cycle Trader and the 5150. Otherwise, this one's kind of sick too. Otherwise, it looks like they're pretty much the same just for the different bike. And the stock one. So there you go. You kind of see what we got for the graphics kits. Let's get out of this. Let's go back to the game. Maybe? Okay, there we go. So yeah, there you go. You kind of see the mod and I the graphics kits that come with the DLC. So these graphics, these graphics kits that I just showed you were not a part of the mod. They were actually part of the... Like if you buy the Suzuki, they come with it automatically. So... Uh, there you go. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more mods and you want to see them right away when they come out, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments that you want to keep seeing the mods, and we'll go from there. But again, you guys and girls are absolutely amazing, and until the next video, take it easy.